Hello and welcome to a quick video here where I'm going to demonstrate the MIDI plugin for Unreal. Um, it's quite lengthy getting the project set up so it's really just testing the water here and showing you people what it can do and if you're interested in a full tutorial just comment or like if I get enough likes I'll do a full tutorial on how I made this. Um, just to show you what I'm doing quickly I've just set up a scene here where the I've changing materials and mesh morphs and turning on visibilities and playing with the UV coordinates all using this Akai MIDI controller and a sound card and what I've used for this is not this MIDI asset plugin but the other MIDI plugin the MIDI device support which in my version of 4.25 is saying it's in beta version but it works just fine for me and the whole thing is controlled by this horribly messy blueprint but generally relatively basic where we set up a MIDI controller we bind to a custom event we check which MIDI channel is coming through and then fire off a sequence of events and do all manner of things like playing sounds like a traditional drum machine doing some mesh morphs changing some colors and so forth and as I said, I will go into this in detail if people are interested. I've just borrowed bits and pieces of tutorials that are on the net and I'll just clean this up a little bit and share it with you if it's something you're into. So I'm just going to press play here and I have the normal character movement here. It's just a photo studio template with Unreal. And if I start tapping away on these buttons here, let me just turn down the mic. So what we have there is um, basically I've mapped the velocities here as well to a mesh morph and you can hear a bit of a latency because from what I've read on the forums um, Epic have prioritized a game over sound latency in this obviously and it's unlikely you'll be using um, something as highly compiled as this to build your own MIDI instruments but it's still great fun being able to play sounds albeit with a bit of latency and seeing pretty much anything I want happen in real time in gameplay here. Um, as you can see I've, I've set that one up to map to the velocity. I've got other controllers here like uh, this one here which is just a morph here and another rotary morph here and then one that's morphing the UV coordinates here of this Sierpinski cube which is pretty cool as well and just the snare there which is just morphing and it's, it's quite hard for me to reach this with all this stuff in here just a f uh, reversing the direction that morph every time it's tapped uh, the other things that I've got going on here is a slider to just slide this material and uh, from if you'd watch my last video I've got these photogrammetry results in here and I'm just turning them on and off by using these MIDI buttons this would be pretty cool for like a photogrammetry gallery or a scan gallery or something and I've got a slider here which fades between a occluded material here and the original material And lastly, I've got a button here which changes the camera to a high up camera if I want to see something else happening there. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed. And if it's any use, um, like, subscribe, and I will do a video on how this whole thing was made. Probably going to be about 15 20 minutes long, but it's not incredibly complicated. And hopefully, I can demonstrate how it was done. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.